First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Detroit. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. I don't see Marvel trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a lot. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Lions take the... They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Try the right side with Mitchell. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. They'll set up to throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Lions will take over. The Lions offense heading out as we give you a look at the playoff race coming into the weekend in the NFC. They'll start this drive out on the ground. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Shoves him aside. And they bring him to the ground just... They'll set up a throw. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. 12-0 now on the year following their latest victory. And during the week, a lot of folks making comparisons between this squad and the 1985 Bears. You know, they too were 12-0 at this point. That's like a setup game because they were playing the Dolphins. And the Dolphins were protecting their franchises undefeated season of 1972 that team and you know what that team does they love to celebrate the fact that they still and he's gonna take it in for a lion touchdown a great pivot in his ability to fit that one in i would say it was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away oh he's got some breathing room and out across midfield, down to the 45. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And in for the Lions, touchdown. And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time. We give you a look at what's going on there. Well, we do know, Charles, they will be in the playoffs. They currently sit at pole position number one, but nothing's set in stone right now. They still have to earn that top spot. It's a number of other things, but winning the division is paramount. You're right, they won't step off the gas here. And he comes back with one complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They'll look to throw again. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh, man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Again, he'll drop the throw. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A little juke. And Graham on the ground. And they'll have it in the red zone before we 
pass is over out of bounds. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. On play action, they'll throw. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And the Lions are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. On the ground, it's James. And that gets him free. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. When push came to shove. They... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Oh, a solid stiff arm and some open field. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Detroit. And with action, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Good footwork at the 30. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Looking to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Graham. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. Taken at the goal line. A lane opens here, he's past the 30. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 40, right around the 39, so solid starting field position. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, the hurdle. And all the way down to the 39. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And in for the Lions. To They'll start on the ground here on first down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Here's second and eight. Throwing right, and that's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. Touchdown, Detroit! What a great play there! Second and ten coming up. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Out to his left. And he's got his big tight end here. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Back to throw now on first down. And this is caught. Touchdown. A great effort. They had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Back to throw here. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they'll get this down to around them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions from that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because it's caught at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. That'll go for you, know it. And 
and this one is right down Broadway. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. The 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Second and 11. This is caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And he will get into the end zone. It's another. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Leaps past him. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown. It'll be one heck of a record if he makes this. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And seeing less obvious throwaways, call this penalties. Here's a screen for Robinson. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, this defense for the Lions, they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. And I don't know what the actual percentages are, and I don't know the analytics when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. The coaches always say. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah, just think about it this way. Running backs, as a general rule, they kind of know when the end of a run is near, and you notice how they cover up, right? They protect the football. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder, does the running back coach visit the quarterback coach and say, hey, I can help you with this. We can protect this and make sure we keep the ball. Mark, that is a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. They'll look to throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. From six yards away. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoral. He just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Lawrence. And that is in now. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game, their toughest test yet. I absolutely do, because to me, this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule. But here, this is another team leading its division with an eye on making a Super Bowl run. So this game is crucial. A solid stiff arm and great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Jags grab it. He's at the 30. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. 
Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you. All right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball. Take care of the ball. Take care of the ball. Because here come the defenders. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five and the six. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They go play action with Lawrence. And he wisely will throw that one away. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now a first carry for their fullback. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Lawrence. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Still there on second down, but it will wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. That one goes for 30 yards. And despite the fancy footwork we saw there, seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. Pretty much unreal, not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throwing the three touchdowns as well. And he fires one that's intercepted. And he will take this one home. Did you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field? You're not over on the sidelines to run for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. Here's James, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to have another first. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Inside the 10. Touchdown. On third down, he'll drop to throw. This offense, Charles, well, we've talked about how well they played all season. Sitting there at 13 and all the finish line for a perfect regular season. That's in sight. Some in the media this week were pointing back to the 07 Patriots. Of course, remember, they finished the regular season unbeaten, but they were tested multiple times in that final month plus. Yeah, but something like four of the last six wins were one possession games, and they played like downfield. The more frenetic things get, and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. And in for the Lions, touchdown. A great effort there on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns as his guys are able to... Ex Let's go now. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking middle, and that's complete. Let's go, let's go. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He's got room past the 30. And they work this well. They'll look to throw here on first down. 
And he comes back with one complete. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll set up to throw. James has got it. Complete. Dances by him. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And on this one, he'll get to the fifth. You better want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. They run a draw here on second down. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. And quickly, they get to the line. And Graham on the grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Touchdown! A big play there. They'll start this drive out on the ground. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. He'll drop to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Detroit. A great. They'll start on the ground here on first down. They find some open field here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll get into it. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And he's had a great season so far throwing the football. Very likely could go over 4,000 yards with a good performance here. And even in an age of passing first, that is no small accomplishment. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. He'll look to throw. Hunter Henry brings it in. The numbers for Hunter Henry from a week ago. Eight catches, 100 yards on the nose, and a score. And you know what he did all week in preparation for this one? Hydrated. Salivated. Yes, stretched, <laughs> dreamed, going against the last team in the league against the pass. Yeah. He expects to catch everyone thrown today. You're right. They have struggled 32 of 32 in that category. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They run again with Harris. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now a give, running left is Harris. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Seven play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 25-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions. Touchdown. Down. Harris running straight ahead. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. They're going to look to throw. 
He's going to drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. And he'll hustle. He said out to do at the beginning of the year, but it's a good illustration of how remarkable and consistent he's been all season. Back to throw now on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They run it with James. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. And Charles, you think about this offense, and it's kind of a tricky time of the season because you're 14-0. Looking to see this one out to the end, but you start to run into situations where... Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 38 yards on the scamper there. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. And that was pretty impressive. Wide open receiver complete. And in for the Lions, touchdown! A great effort there. 36 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And a nice job by him. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Looking to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. And that's good for a gain of six. And now we've got a third down and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Harris. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer so short. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. He's going to field this at the four. A tremendous return there, 39 yards. And they will take over first and 10. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your options. They head back out onto the field. The last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets a job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he finds a man on the crossing round. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. 20! And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. They'll look to throw again. The connection made. It's Graham. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. On the move to his left. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. The line of scrimmage. On play action, they'll throw. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he is going to have a one sack of the game. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Skirts by him at the 35. And he's got some space here. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. His 26 touchdown, drawing even with Marshall Fulton. 
They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Steps away. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. James shoves him away. 86 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Second and four. He's got a rifle one deep left side. It's caught at the 10. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown. The season, these guys have nothing to sweat about. They clinch the top spots of the road to the Super Bowl. It runs through them. And there's a natural inclination here, partner, to say, okay, a lot of guys aren't going to play down the stretch. We've clinched. We're ready to go. But there's another part where you say, let's show the league why we're the number one team. Maybe you intimidate someone. Maybe you dissuade them from thinking that they can beat you in the playoffs by going out being really impressive down the stretch. Absolutely, and you want to take momentum into the playoffs. There's also pride on the line for these guys individually. Yeah, momentum and pride. Yeah, I'd make room for them and put them both in uniform. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now, well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. And now they're in the hurry up. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. To give him the yardage on the completion and also tack on 15 more. If you get that hand up there, you've got to let go immediately or just not close the hand at all. He did, gave it a tug, and that was eat. He's got his man. It's cool. On the ground, it's James. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now a handoff up the middle. It's James. 119 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Second and two. Wide open receiver complete. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Up the middle they go. James. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven. And he takes this one in for the Lions touch. They'll look to throw here on first down. It's Graham again with the catch, just like the last play. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they go from the 47 now on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. This size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 36. 
And here's a handoff out of the gun. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down. See teams pack in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a column possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Able to get the good passing attack, even though that one was incomplete. It's been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Yeah, able to elude one tackler, but only gets this back to the line of scrimmage. Switch it up here and look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this will be caught. Well, forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. And this one is right down the middle. Yes. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. Oh, good move. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. When you think about the strong safety position, you know, they're the more bulkier guys in the free safety, but that time, great athleticism to hustle in and break up that play. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. Looking to throw on second down. McAllister, and that'll be incomplete. A pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. On third down, McAllister. And oh, he coughed it up. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And into the end zone, a scoop and score on a fumble to turn. Again, he'll drop to throw. Touchdown! A great play there. With touchdown, get about nine, and that will lead us to a stoppage here at the two-minute warning. Now a handoff up the middle. It's James finding space at the 40. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 53 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful, and that strength is on display there. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The catch and run good for 18 and a first down. Up the middle they go. It's James. Stops short of the 25. The nice move couldn't ultimately free him. And quickly, they get to the line. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And, oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the left side, it's complete. And in for the Lions touchdown. So front Panther 
territory now. It's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Another nice move. Room here to run. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play. There. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Give him five on the kick. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And he's going to have the Lions first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Being chased out left. And able to get him. They'll start on the ground here on first down. 69 yards rushing for now to this point. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's got Rome. Back now at Ford Field. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Third down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. Give them a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. Quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. It certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? The game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even... He's got a man complete! And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll look to throw. And this will be caught, and the carnage continues. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Jets and the reigning Super Bowl champs, and it's coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Year quarterback. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon. But they never got to a Super Bowl. Yet here he is in his second NFL season, already getting his chance. And we harken back to Dan Marino, another superstar, made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Back to throw. Bryson looking for White on the deep ball. And he's got it inside the 10. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 48 yards. A chance for the first points of this Super Bowl. It's first and goal. Now for, and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And this is scooped up by the Lions. Let's face it, everybody at the start of a game has, has a mental image of how they expect it to go, and I think that was going exactly as they scripted it offensively. Moving the ball well, seemingly in control, and that fumble, that's got to be a little bit deflating, don't you think? Yeah, foiled the whole plan there, turned the ball over. 
So here are the Lions now backed up for their first drive. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. And some room to maneuver. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. And CD, one of the big stories everybody's been tracking this week, the head coach of this offense, looking to become just the second coach in NFL history to win five Super Bowl titles. And let's face it, the respect is there already. We know he's going to go down as one of the all-time great coaches. But even after all the success, what do we notice most about him? He never takes anything for granted. He's treating this Super Bowl like it's the most important game ever played because for some of the guys on his team, it will be. And he feels the same way himself. I love his intensity. I love the way he gets his team prepared to play in the big game. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Jordan Brooks on the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now they try the right side here. Flashy little move, but unable to reach the 40. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Got a man, it's caught at the six yard line. Touchdown! With a first touchdown to 31. To throw on second down. Bryson, he rifles one that's intercepted. Oh, look at the juke. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. From 19 yards away. And the Lions third down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And in for the Lions, touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Lions are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. Well, now the 43. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. And some space here. Touchdown, Detroit. Well, it has been put on first and 10. Now a handoff looking right. And some room to run now. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. And he takes this one in for the Lions. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. In trouble here. Down he goes, back at the eight-yard line. The Lions on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Back to throw now on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag there. Let's check in with our referee. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense. But this one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. They'll start on the ground here on first down. He stiff arms him. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. 
second and one. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. They'll try and run for it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll look to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he'll get into the end zone. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the... It's complete. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Detroit! They'll start on the ground here on first down. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. They'll set up to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. There he goes, left side. Touchdown. A great play there with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Lions are starting to open things up here in the Super Bowl. And Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen Mavis pass this ball incomplete. He's going to rifle one deep left side. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now this throw caught left side. And in for the Lions touchdown. A big play. That... They'll start on the ground here on first down. And some room to work. The 40. The 20. 10. 5. Touchdown, Detroit. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. You know, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. 173 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. They're going to look to throw. On the left side, it's complete. Touchdown! A great play there. 27 yards. And the Lions are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else, you see the chance to pile on. They know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration be. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And they're going to speed things up here. They go play action here on first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. He's got a man complete. And in for the Lions touchdown. A great effort there. Back to throw. It's caught out right by Graham. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now back to throw. Wide open receiver complete. 
A big play there for Detroit. 48 yards. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the stop will come inside the five of that huge lead. And some people may be saying, well, why are they throwing the football? These guys, I guess, are just padding their stats at this point. Yeah, a lot of big grins, I think, from people in their families, from themselves. You're exactly right. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. Remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.